Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill And today we are going to play with a starva I supposed to say extra daily dose, sorry Anyways, uh, what we are going to play with We are going to play with a starva tier 6 uh, uh, premium tank uh, Some person did research on this tank And he said skill last time you played with this vehicle Was literally 3 years ago uh, And you said it is playable I actually think this tank is is pretty uh, good to be fair with you it is not that bad um, as probably my first impressions were and uh, let's try to prove our uh, point while playing with this game in the uh, with this tank in the battle what do you think also before going I think we are going to activate some boosters um, why the heck not okay now we can go easy so uh, I know there is plenty, I repeat, plenty of Bacchus with the derp guns. This could be annoying thing for this vehicle, but we'll see. I do not really think uh, it is going to be that big of a deal. So, what is the best thing of this vehicle? The best thing of this tank, you have autoloader, right? If you are catching someone making a mistake, you are going to have the best time in your uh, life, honestly. Um, you have like, what, 150 alpha damage, 150 alpha damage, 4 in the magazine, that is equals to 600 uh, damage burst. And this is very, very good considering uh, some tier 5s do not have 600 HP, you are meeting tier 5 and you are pretty much uh, fully slaughtering gentlemen, right? So this is not bad whatsoever. Anyways, what do we want to do and what is our plan? I would say... I would say we are going to play in the Juliet 1-2. I think this is the plug. Ah, okay. No, game, what are you going to show for us? What are you going to show for us? This is the question. Oh, our Lev Hash is saying hello. No. No nice, buddy. No nice. Dirty Jeff. There is only one thing what I can say. Dirty Jeff, fellas. There is only one way. Okay, what I do not like about this situation, what is happening here, we do not really have that many forces who are going together with us, and that's a problem. I do not really like this. Okay, but what do we have? We have a Stug. And if the things will go well, there is a chance we are going to burst the living crap out of the Stug. If I'm not mistaken, this tank have pretty damn good gun depression as well, or am I incorrect? Or am I mixing this vehicle um, with a tier with a tier 6 um, Tech 3 tank? Could be also possible, I will need to check uh, out after the game. I think it has minus 10 if I'm not mistaken, and the standard one has minus 15, so it's quite comfortable to play hold down with this tank, although you do not really have any armor whatsoever. Hmm. Yikes, okay, okay fellas, okay, slow start, very slow start, patience is going to be the key, anyways, Dicker Max is dead, he did not really understood what the flying ever happened to him, you know what, I will uh, risk it for the biscuit, or maybe not, or maybe not, my man, we have a problem. Here you go. Heavy tank number six is saying, oh yes indeed we have a problem. Good. That's the start. Now, if enemies will try to be aggressive and they should try to be aggressive, we should be able to beat the living crap out of those guys like there is no tomorrow. Tracking shot and garage. Nice, very good. Very good fellas, very good. By the way, I think Arta penetrated this guy. I think Arta penetrated this guy. Ay, 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 ay. Very, very unlucky gentleman. Oyoptararai. Oyoptararai, fellas. Have you seen that? Unbelievable. Poor soul. That poor gentleman. I repeat, that poor gentleman 
just got destroyed by the Jeb. Holy bananas from Banana Land. You see, having a Jeff Arta ne next to you is pretty damn good. Holy moly. That was something else. This guy, I'm telling you, this guy, he completely ate a Stereva. Literally my brother from other mother. He got literally destroyed by this Lev Hash. But hey, fellas, come on. It's not that bad to have Arta who has 7 seconds reload and have the view range better than any tier uh, 6, 7 light tank, right? It's not bad. It's not a horrible idea. Come on, fellas. It is not that horrible. It could be always worse, I guess. Let's see. This is a start for us, obviously. Um, this is okay game. It is not going to be epic. We are going to have a maximum 3000 combined. But this is not horrible whatsoever. It could be so much worse, believe me. And what do we have now? We have the M10 and we will try to beat the living crap out of this M10. Now, I am struggling with gun depression. I am actually struggling with gun depression with this tank. I think I am wrong with uh, how much gun depression this vehicle has. More I think about this, more I think I am wrong. One more. Beautiful, very, very nice. I think this tank doesn't have the um, uh, minus 10. Now, more I think about it, more I think I failed and more I think uh, I am wrong. Okay, anyway, so what do we need to do now? We need to try to find a nice angle for Mr. Wolverine or T-150. Uh, both of the situations could work very, very well. We have Chaff in the open field. Obviously, I would love to be the living crap out of this uh, beautiful soul. He took one for the team. Well, to be particular, he took uh, three for the team and I missed one. That's completely fine. Now, if the things will go well, we should be able to penetrate this guy. But this is only if the things will go well for us. Right into the side, beautiful, he is tracked, we are going to go for another one, and he is burning. Beautiful. Do we know where Arta is? Yes, boys, we know where Arta is, and Arta should sit somewhere here, wow. Okay, here we go, Arta spotted, that's very, very nice, our T-67 is bursting the living crap out of Arta, and we are thinking about yoinking the kill, but we did not manage to do that, although, can we rig brother in arms, can we rig brother in arms, can we rig brother in arms, we cannot, shame, 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 well, quite interesting start with this vehicle, it is not a bad performance by any means, uh, 1.8 thousand damage, like 900 assisting damage, plus we have a chance to have some blind assisting damage because I've seen our art bursting the living crap out of uh, uh, my brother from other mother so it is definitely all right uh, we are going to say dirty clicker no he left he left fellas I did not even manage to say dirty clicker Lev Hash honestly did a great job in this game honestly anyway stop by the damage stop by experience we made quite a bit of credits but keep this in mind fellas um Keep this in mind, we completed the mission, so that's why we have so much credits. If we will uh, get rid of the 65 grand, we uh, made 50,000 uh, uh, profits flat, right? That's what we have done. Anyways, very, very nice. Uh, what we can do, meanwhile, remember to use experience for field modifications it is absolutely important and you can get very very good stuff from field modifications um, and i know quite some of you are thinking eh Field modifications is not that important, field modifications is not that great. Uh, believe me, field modifications is making quite a bit of difference, believe me. So, uh, if you have experience, just simply grind them, easy peasy lemon squeeze it. Just unlock them and your tank is going to be just tiny touch better. And sometimes, uh, to make a difference in the game, you just need to have a bit better tank than someone else, right? Just how it goes. That's the truth of the world of tanks. Anyways. Uh, first battle was fine i am pretty happy all we need to do we need to go for two more games and hopefully the things will go very very well for us so let's see let's see 
Watchmaking is taking quite a bit of time, my friends. I wonder how did I rate this vehicle in the index for shits and giggles. I think it should be good. I am pretty sure this tank should be rated as a good vehicle. Let's see. S T R V. And this vehicle is rated as a good vehicle. Yep, that's completely fine. Obviously, I need to highlight one very, very important thing. Fellas, if, uh, if you are not enjoying the game, don't think about uh, opening your wallet if you don't like the game, right? It is a very, very important thing to say. And uh, it is important thing to do overall. Wow, the matchmaking is taking forever and ever. We are 1 minute, 30 minutes into the matchup and we can't uh, find the battle. Okay, we found the battle. Bottom tier against the tier 8s and the airfield. Yikes. Literally yikes, fellas. Okay, uh, let's not lose hope. Let's try to play well and let's punish enemies for their mistakes, shall we? This is going to be hard. The thing is, we can't do that many bad things for the tier 8s unless we are going to find their side. Penetration of this vehicle is not uh, ideal with the standard shells. We have 148 penetration, although gold shells uh, goes up to 190, so maybe we will need to shoot quite a bit of the gold in order to feel um, somehow reasonable, if you know what I mean. And uh, still you are looking a bit sleepy. Fellas, I uh, woke up not so long ago, so don't mind me if I do. Uh, sometimes it happens. You know, um, messed up a sleeping schedule um, things. And what can you do? Mm -hmm. Ayosu is sitting here in the back, that's good. Now if the things will go well, we should be able to beat the living crap out of this guy. One, two, three, I see that uh, a tier 8, don't worry. I see this tier 8. I am very, very well aware of this. Good, extremely good start. Very good start, fellas, I'm super happy with this. Listen, um, we started everything with a 450 uh, damage, so we penetrated 3 out of 4 shells into the tier 8 tank destroyer. Um, this is not the start I would cry about. Very, very nice. More of those, please. One. Two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A couple of free shots as well. Very nice. This is what we need and this is what we are looking for, fellas. Good. And Skoda shit his pants. Very nice. Okay, how about this Vaka? Can we find the angle? One for the team, two for the team. Okay, we need to escape. I need to be cautious, fellas. There is one Arta who can easily penetrate us. Um, and this is not looking that great for us anymore. Do I want to go with APCRs yet? This is the question. Do I want to go with APCRs? Huh? Okay, look. My goal is to see this T3485M trying to make a bit of pressure like this. If he's going to do that, we will try to be the living crap out of him, no? Wait for it, fellas. We have quite a bit of time. We have quite a bit of time. P43 tear. Okay, this guy should shit his pants. He should go back. And now this gentleman is doomed. Okay, very, very nice. Uh, that's not nice. I assume might be here and he might eliminate me from the game. Not worth it. Way too risky, fellas. Way too risky. Relax. Slow down, fellas. Slow down. Look. We are a bottom tier in the tier um, 8 matchmaking. There is no reason for us to go full bananas, full nuts. And after that cry in the corner, how could we uh, to perform that bad because we were impatient. Plus on top of that, it is not a typical map. 
This map is called You Push You Lose. I believe a lot of a lot of you are familiar with this uh, um, map in a way, right? Mm hmm. Two, one, dead. I said dead. Oi, 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 oi. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to go for a PCR clip at this point. I kind of want to see this ISU because I have a feeling, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this ISU is sitting right there where he was before, right? If I would need to bet and if I would need to put my money um, on, on the bet overall, I would say this gentleman is sitting here. So what we are going to do, we are going to go for a blind shots. One more. Huh. I am wrong. I am wrong. He is not sitting here. Okay, fair enough. Well, what can we do? Cry every time, right? It sucks to be wrong, but it is uh, inevitable. Okay. What we can do now, we can try to support our Suka Pershing. Because there is a huge chance enemies will try to get a bit involved here. And if they will, we will try to make sure they are going to regret their life choices. This is okay. And one more. We have one more. Beautiful. 1.3 thousand damage so far. Unfortunately, no assisting damage. But keep this in mind. Where we are sitting currently, we are not sitting very, very well. We are definitely not sitting very well. Skill, do you see you are getting flanked by T29? Oh, boys, I see everything. Believe me, I see bloody everything. Okay, if the things will go well, we should be able to sm spank him in the ass quite well. Spanking him in the ass is what I need and what I think about. Look at this beauty. And let's start our journey. One for the team, two for the team, three for the team, and four for the team. That's completely fine. You might think I am feeling bad, but I am not. Um, the thing is, I'm trying to get as much use as I physically and possibly can uh, in the end of this game. And I am very, very well aware of that. We are not sitting in uh, extreme... We do not have very good conditions here, okay? Let's let's be real. So, uh, this is the thing. Anyways, we have Vaka. That's completely fine. I see this T29 and I'm dead. That's okay. Listen. Uh, Whenever you are a bottom tier and whenever your team is losing the game by uh, quite a significant margin, uh, there is nothing what you can do. You need to accept this and you need to simply say thank you. I played for the best of my abilities and this is the score which I have. Once again, not bad whatsoever. I am feeling pretty damn happy with all of this. Um, it is completely fine. Okay, our clicker our clicker with a second mark of excellence you lady love a very nice emblem to the water to, do, 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 do. to the water i i have a feeling fellas i have a oh just make a turn just make a turn buddy no oh i'm a bit disappointed boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i am a bit disappointed i thought we are going to see the um, newly invented submarine which is called gv panther but uh, hashtag never lucky he decided to go for one more shot and obviously this is the right decision and this is the smart thing to do right anyways defeat oh well what we can change not much and let's see um, what place we are going to take because if i need to bet i would say we are top three by experience and second by the damage second this is my prediction let's see so 2000 damage hip hip hooray second by the damage uh, by being bottom tier shitter and first by experience. Okay, uh, that's not bad whatsoever. And we even made some profits even though we went uh, with quite a bit of the gold spam. But once again, um, this is completely understandable, fellas. Keep this in mind. Uh, it is... It is it's just how it goes, my friends. Whenever you are um, being a bottom tier mother tracker, right, there is... Uh, uh, 
there is no need for you to shoot high explosives and do absolutely nothing, you know? You need to shoot uh, ammunition uh, with which you can penetrate enemies. That's World of Tanks nowadays and uh, either you cry or either you adapt. Also, um, I am currently working with Wargaming for one thing. Well, I asked Wargaming uh, to give me um, a test account where I am going to have uh, tier 10s, tier 9s. That's what I need and I will have have zero gold apart the mounting kits uh, and we will play um, with a tier 10 tier 9 vehicles no gold whatsoever for third mark of excellence in the O server so this is quite exciting honestly and it is going to be challenging in a way And it is going to be quite challenging in a way. Okay, so what do we have? We have a tier 7 matchmaking. We have 5 light tanks each team. 5. Mm. Mm. Okay, we need to figure out how to be the living crap out of this vaca. One. Two. Three. He had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun, fellas. He enjoyed himself to the maximum and he is saying, Well deserved the reward. <laughs> this is what this gentleman is saying. This Vaka uh, is going to be annoying for many, many, many players. Believe me. Um, that Vaka might cost quite a bit of keyboards out there, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. So let's see. Uh, can we find a decent angle for a gentleman sitting here on the corner? I am... I don't like the gun depression of this tank. It looks like this tank doesn't have any gun depression. I know I said that quite some times, but I really want to repeat this. Because um, if I feel like I cannot lower my gun, uh, this is no bueno. And this is truly annoying part of, uh, um, of the tank. And for some reason I thought that this tank has a very good gun depression, but I am wrong. Well, what can I say? What can I say? Sucks to be me. Okay. Our T-3485 decided to be aggressive. This is not necessarily a bad thing for us. Why is it not necessarily a bad thing for us? Because we are, um, we are close to support this gentleman. One, two, three. He did not even spot us. Wow. That was a pretty damn good play. This guy did not even outspot us and we clipped him like there is no tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Not looking ideal speaking about this game, but it's okay. We still have a lot of a lot of time, fellas. We still have a lot of time. Wow, this Hellcat probably took shit on for the team. I know this is very risky where we are playing. I am super well aware of that, but I don't really want to escape from, from here yet. But probably I should. I'm out. I am too afraid I am going to get outspotted by every single mother trucker who, who is sitting here at the ridge line and then I am doomed. I cannot afford this. Um, this is way too risky and I don't really want to pay the price for my stupidity if you know what I mean. So what we are going to do instead. Um, we need to figure out to, what angle to take in order to protect our gentlemen who will get um, pretty much flanked by the enemies because they will. It is matter of the time. It is matter of the time fellas. Okay, both of the Super Hellcats are there. Okay, okay, okay. This is not that bad um, as I initially thought it is. Why so? Because now we can start making pressure like this. And we are not in the crossfire anymore, so that's fine. Everything is looking alright. Watch this. Slowly but surely, trying to cross through the open field. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is not looking bad whatsoever. Now the question is, 
Do we have Type 64 here? By the looks of it, Type 64 is moving through the, uh, through the open field. So what we need to do, we need to make sure he's going to regret his life choices. That's very good. Enemy art is trying to run through the open field. We are going to explode him. And now we can see the Russian um, medium tank who is a bit angry on us. But you know what? I am not feeling that bad as you might think uh, I feel. I am feeling pretty damn well. Look, if those guys, they want to eliminate me from the game, they need to start making pressure for me. And this is not going to be that easy. This is not going to be that simple. So instead of running long way back, I decide to simply take the building. Why to escape if I can wait until our guys will... Uh, um, will start supporting us in a way, right? Is it a mistake by me? Maybe. Maybe, fellas. Time will show everything. Where is this type? Excuse me. Broken camera, I see. If we are looking towards this direction, I can feel the camera is saying, Re Can I destroy half of this building? No, I cannot. Oh, smart. This is very, very, very smart. Oh, come on, game. Come on. This is very smart, mother trucker. This guy is doing absolutely amazing job. I could not do absolutely anything for him. Very, very nicely played by T3485. He got me very, very well. He decided to take a middle and instead of pushing on me uh, through the open field like this, what he did, he actually went like this. I am in the crossfire. So I can do only one thing, try to escape like this. Um, that's about it. Not the greatest fourth game, but that's what we have. Anyways, let's teleport and to the end of this game and let's see are we victorious or are we getting psd let's see and we came back with a defeat this t3485 m mwah, he played like a bloody king of this game he slaughtered everyone and he showed who is the boss and why this t3485 m is rated as an epic tank and skill for l2 index right uh, good job he played very very well he did absolutely everything properly and uh, big fat thumbs up for this gentleman unfortunately we are finishing the last battle with the defeat but oh well what can you do we have 2000 combined so it's definitely not a problem and this gentleman he played very very well good bloody job for him you can see he's clearly experienced player i assume this is not the first account and i believe he is having an absolutely amazing kick-ass time so after three battles unfortunately we won only one game but that's completely fine and we finished everything with 1.8 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage this is not bad whatsoever unfortunately this is not uh, um this is not I mean, it could be better, that's what I am trying to say, but it is not bad whatsoever. My average performance with this vehicle uh, is 1.7 thousand plus 700, so actually we played for an average performance, I assume. But what we need to keep in mind, I played with this vehicle before hit points changes, so this could be definitely a bit better. Anyways, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your extra daily dose of skill. I hope you are having a lovely day. And I want to wish you a beautiful weekend, enjoy yourself, have a good one, and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.